Say. Y'all ready? Yes. I'm basically yes. doing the intro yeah, on haircuts, it. you guys. You go first, then Jay, then me, okay? Okay. You ready? Yes. You too. What's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. And in this video right here, I did a low fade, basically a drop fade with a curl sponge on top. And uh, basically, that's it, man. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Tatiana, is there anything that you want to say? Yeah. What you want to say? I want to say that my little brother and me are in my daddy's video today, okay? Yeah. Okay. Jared, anything you want to say? Nothing. Nothing? You're just going to leave. You're just going to leave about, you're just going to touch the camera. Thank okay. You. All right. It's about that time for you guys to just stay hey, tuned wait. because he's sitting here messing with the camera. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here, you guys. No, wait, that stay was, tuned. No, not again. All right, to start off this haircut, what you're gonna need is the Slimline Pro Li's. And what I'm doing basically is setting in my first ball guideline, all right? I'm doing it in a, in a contour way, uh, in the shape of his head, basically starting uh, from the middle of the C cut and dropping it to the back. Right now I'm using my modified Wall magic clips, these are uh, balders. Um, I'm just taking off the rest of the hair with these because I really don't want to dull out my Andy Slimline Pro LIs. All right, now with the lever open, using my Oster speed lines, I'm going up about an inch and uh, setting in this uh, second guy line. All right, the third guy line I'm gonna set in is the one guard open. And I'm going up an inch, basically doing the same thing, making sure that all the hair are the same length as this one guard, all right? You might have to go left and right. Don't strictly rely on going up because not every client hair comes straight down. You know, some might grow, some, some of their hair might grow in sideways, so you're gonna have to go sideways, left, right, up, down, try all of them just to get the hair to be the same length. All right, using my two guard open, what I'm doing is going straight up, putting in this guy line. This is not necessarily a guy line, even though it is a guy line, it's more of a taking off the, the rest of the bulk up top, all right? So you, you don't have to use a three, you could just run it, you could run this two straight up. That way what you're doing is shaping the fro and setting in the guy line at the same time. Now with the one guard closed, what you're doing is softening up the middle line. You can either flick at the, the middle line or you could kind of set a guideline just right above the, uh, the line. Don't Make sure you don't go into, all the way into 
the uh, one guard open, you know what I mean? Use the one guard close and just go up to the middle of it. But I, pr I prefer to flick out. Now because we use the one guard close, using the zero guard close makes it easier to flick out this middle line, all right? Now what you wanna do is flick out. Start from the line and flick out. And basically what you're doing is breaking that line. It's, it's basically not, you're not trying to go up and bring the bring, bring the, uh, the line up. You, what you're trying to do is just break the line. So it's like every other hair that you're getting out. So keep that in mind when you're fading. You're not trying to bring the fade up. You're trying to just break the line so it's, it's scattered. Now with the lever closed, you're doing the same thing in the flick out motion. You're basically trying to break that line. Um, it's best when you start to the line and flick out real quick, all right? You guys wanna work out on your, uh, you guys wanna work out. You guys gonna wanna work on your flick out motion because it's all in the wrist, you know what I mean? The way you hold the clippers and just the way you flick out, it matters, you know what I mean? You gotta be real comfortable when you're doing this uh, motion. Right now I'm picking out the hair just to get ready for the, the shaping process. Now that everything is picked out, I'm using my Modify Wall Magic Clips. These are balders. Um, I'm basically doing a freehand, shaping it into a high top at first, and then rounding it off at the top. Right now I'm using my ProMate clippers, all right, and I just put the gold blade on these. Um, just to, uh, these, these, these actually hit, you know what I mean? Like they're not Andy's clippers, they're actually ProMate clippers. The, the, same, the same blade that, uh, you know, they make ProMate blades and you put them on your Andy's T-outliners or something like that, but they actually came out with a clipper and these are the clippers that I'm using, just not with the blade. I put the gold blade on it, all right? So that's the clipper I'm using right now. Uh, you can get them off eBay, Amazon. Uh, they're everywhere. Uh, I actually picked these up at the hair show. They sold them to me for 40 bucks. So, you know, I had to pick them up.
choo-choo tube this is the cut and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if anybody want to you know know how to man this why did it look like it's fire coming off of his head Ooh. it's your boy 360 Jeezy though what I was saying was as I was distracted by the flames coming off of his head I was basically saying if you know somebody that want this haircut please share this video if you want to know if you know somebody that wants to learn how to do this haircut please share this video make sure you give it a like make sure you subscribe thanks for watching it's your boy 360 Jeezy and I'm out of here cheer